What's going on YouTube, GFN right here, and wow. Today we got a brand new exploit for iOS 26 and lower, 26.2 beta one actually, so it supports all available iOS 26 builds. So is this one over here, published on this blog, iTunes Store D and Book Asset D Sandbox Escape. And this one is a brand new sandbox escape that we can use and it has already been used for tweaking iOS. This developer has also posted a Python script that allows you to take advantage of this it doesn't do much for the moment but we already have tools being developed in the background for this so this is the code available over here and with this we can update nugget to work with ios 26 some people even managed to get actual ipad features like stage manager and of course multitasking and so on on ios 26 with this in here so this allows you to write to essentially any path owned by the mobile user and that's a lot of things including the mobile guest alt file which means that all those mobile guest alt tweaks from uh, Nugget will be able to run on iOS 18.4, 18.5, iOS 26, and so on, on all devices. This is a major release, and as I said, iPadOS has already been achieved on iPhone. This iPhone over here is running essentially what would be iPadOS, and you will see it has iPad features, including the dock, as you can see over there, and you know, you can change the window types to have windows that can be minimized and moved around on the screen like that. Those are iPad features that have been enabled enabled on iOS 26 on iPhone with this brand new exploit and this is pretty nice. So this is actually quite powerful. A lot of tools will be created with it. I'm also working on my own tools with this. It's actually quite nice. So yes, if you're running anything like iOS 26.1, 26.0.1, 26.2 beta 1, iOS 18.5, 18.4, 18. Point whatever, this works for you. It works on all devices. So we're definitely so back with this exploit over here. I'll keep you updated. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your device if it's stuck in a boot loop, if it doesn't boot anymore, if it's stuck on the Apple logo, if it's frozen, and so on. Definitely check it out, it can fix up to 150 plus iOS issues. Thank you for watching, I'm GS now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.